and welcome back to Tukuza this morning. We are with uh, Prophetess Monica um, Nyambura talking about her testimony, her experience, and many questions are coming through. Na utakuwa na tuambia tu watu wanauliza. It's very interesting, the, the perception of prophets. Kuna yeah. moja meuliza, uh -huh. can she prophesy on what can happen tomorrow? We'll get to that. Uh -huh. And many more, kuna wengine wanasema ma prophetess wa vahangi nguo. <laughs> Sasa, <laughs> tunongea juu ya Amos yeah. ama nani? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Prophets in the Old Testament. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll get there yeah. in a short while. But let's continue with, the, with just sharing. Mm. So here you are. Yeah. Ume, ume pata mtoto after, immediately after high school. Yes. Then that marriage did not work. Yeah. So ume kuja Nairobi hustle. Mm-hmm. Umeenda paka umefieka, yeah. umefanya kazi. Uh -huh. Tutuambia nini liendelea bale ya pane? Uh, that time nilikuwa, nilikuwa kwanza nimehostiwa kwa enyewe. Mm -hmm. So nilikuwa na shida mingi. Yani ile, you cannot pay for your bills, you cannot do anything. Na nikafukuzwa isili. Na uyo bishte angu. Mm -hmm. Sijuka na watch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lakini nilu msame. Mm -hmm. Nilipo fukuzwa isili, uh, nikapata bishte angu moja na ka uko madhare. Uruma mm. na uko chini mm -hmm. kwa mtu ya Nairobi. Karibu mm. yani mtu tulikuwa tunaiona ndio tukitoka nje ndio inatukaribisha. Mm -hmm. So huko sasa ndio tulikuwa tunakaa na tulikuwa kazi ilikuwa tu ni hiyo. Unafulia watu alafu tulikuwa kabla dhika rudi jengwe kuna mahali tulikuwa tunapitia hapo 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 madhare tunavukia mto tunaingia runda mudhaiga. Sasa mm -hmm. huko ndio tulikuwa tunaenda kuhasa kutegea sasa ma jobs. Mm -hmm. Unakaa mahali kwa kamawe hivi nje ya, 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 ya geti ya mdos. Mm -hmm. Akitoka ndio namuuliza uh, kuna kazi yote madam hata uh, kufua kupika anything. kufagia anything chochote hapo sasa ndio unapewa kazi unafanya unafanya na baadaye nikapata kazi ya hoteli sasa Aha. ya kuwa waiter hoteli yenyewe nilikuwa nalipwa mia moja si hoteli yati yati hoteli eh, si hoteli naitwa eh. eh, kibandaski <laughs> <laughs> oh badala ya kimpiski eh kibandaski kibandaski <laughs> eh, sasa huko ndio nilikuwa na, nafanya sasa hizo kazi nafanya hiyo kazi ya hoteli mm. bado nangangana kufanya mabiashara tu sasa wakati uko off kama saa tondi unaenda kufanya hizo biashara za kufulia watu and all that mm -hmm. sasa sasa hiyo maisha ni ngumu hakuna pesa hakuna nini sasa hiyo unaniona niko hivyo nilikuwa sina sura <laughs> Ni na ilastic. Wewe watu sikuizo ungepewa mimi buri na usitishwe mahari. Ungesema si mari huyu. Huyu ndo wakuwa staki. So I was I was frustrated. Nilikuwa tu shida by the way poverty it's very bad na ichukia. Matatizo na shida na kungangana inakuondoaga mpaka sura yako. Inakuondoaga mpaka dignity kila kitu inakufanya tu kitu tu. Na na inaichukia ndio maana nikihubiri naikemeaga sana. So nikangangana kimaisha nikangangana kimaisha na siku moja tu nikiwa tu natembea tau na ma stress na na sasa hiyo hakuna kupanda gari by then hakuna natembea wapi tell by then hakuna kupanda gari kwa mm. sababu ukipanda gari pesa itaisha kwa sababu wengi kwa sababu unajaribu kupanga so nyumba unalipa tulikuwa tunalipa so tatu na tulikuwa ah. tunafungiwa na tuko wawili eh, madhare 150 per month <laughs> 150 inch na bado pesa itoshi. Nilikuwa itoshi. Sasa mm. unaona nikiingia gari nilipe 20 bob fare, ningie tena nilipe 20 bob, hiyo itabaki 60. Mm. So ukifanya hesabu 60, unafaa utume home pesa eh, and all that. Alafu by then nilikuwa nimechukua mtoto. Kwa sababu ah, mamangu ameanza eh, eh. mamangu ameanza kazi, alafu sasa sister yangu ako shule na ako college, yani hakuna mtu akuangalia mtoto. Kwa hivyo nikachukua mtoto. Mm -hmm. Nilikuwa na mbeba naenda namweka pale hivyo chini na mkalisha ninafua na maliza na kabeba tunarudi nyumbani na tunatembea mguu za hiyo unatembea kama kama ni tao unatembea huku kikomba unavuka mlango kubwa unavuka unaenda mpaka unatokea madhare na umebeba mtoto na umechoka maana umeshinda job wow. na si job vibarua wacha tuite kibarua maana iko job so hapo Mungu nasema Mungu angalau akanikumbuka kidogo That was I think 2008 mm -hmm. 2007 2008 nikiwa napita tu tao hivi nikasikia watu wana worship nikasema ah 
na na by then bado nimeokoka na naendaga kanisani mm. lakini ile tu naenda kama mshirika unaketi pale nyuma hata utaki maneno mengi kwanza unaona kama kama Mungu alikusahau alikuacha mm. Mungu hata hayuko hapo mm. maana unashindwa hizi shida zote ninakula kwa nini so hapo nikaingia nikapata watu wanaabudu na nikaingia hiyo church nikaipenda pale tao hapo hapo hivyo uh, Uh, Jack and Jill hapo hivyo. Mm -hmm. So nikaingia kanisa OTC. OTC. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So nilipoingia nika kuwa volunteer, nikaanza kuosha kanisa, kupanguza viti na all that things. Mm -hmm. So siku moja prison worship inafanya practice. Nikasema uh, naweza wa join. Nikaambua sawa karibu Saturday tukafanya practice, tukafanya practice nikaimba. Akaniambia, "Si umesema unataka practice, tuimbie sasa." Nikaimba. Praise and worship leader aliniambia kuanzia leo uko praise and worship. Mara hiyo. Mara hiyo hiyo nikaingia praise and worship. Mm -hmm. But shida hazikuisha. Unajua sasa uwezi ukaenda kuambia bishop nimekuja praise and worship na sasa mm -hmm. bishop sina kakia. Ehe. So lazima upitie processes <laughs> and all that. Ehe. <laughs> Unaenda asubuhi morning glory mm -hmm. uko watu wanajua uko poa mm. lakini wewe unajua kule ulipitia mm. unaenda lunch hour unaongoza yani una worship this time unafanya kazi bado vibarua eh vibarua Aha. sasa unafanya vibarua unakimbia unaimba eh, unarudi eh. alafu sasa sometimes administrator wa kanisa anawacheki hivi anawaambia leo ni wabaya lunch mnapoa so mm. unafurahi hiyo siku nakumbuka siku moja nyumba ikafungwa sasa hiyo niko madhare na nimefukuzwa na yule tulikuwa tunakaa naye kwa hivyo nikakodisha yangu nyumba na ilikuwa inafungwa ndiema. Siku moja ikafungwa nikakasirika. Niko na mtoto siwezi lala nje. Nikaenda na huku nyuma. Unajua nyumba za madhara na huko chini hazikuwa gati zimejengwa na mawe. Ni, ni ma, ma cartons na ma mabati zimewepo magunia. Unatoa tu kashimo mnaingia mnalala. Asubuhi mapema mnatoka mnaenda. Landlord anajua aliwafungia nyumba siku tatu zilipita. Mnalalaga huko ndani. Nyumba ilifungwa. Mna bomoa mnaingia. Mnaingia na nyuma na mnafunga hivi na hiyo cartons na hizo yeah, mabati. Muna, alafu mnatoka mapema asijue. Eh. So anajua alishawafungia uh, nyumba. Kwa mbele tu kufulia eh, na anapata kiko mbili. Hamkuwahi pata tenant mwingine ndani mkiingia. <laughs> <laughs> sasa sasa hii unajua anangojea umpepe sasa. Sasa ni Mungu hakuwa ipata tena. Eh, alafu mm. unajua sasa hii unalipa hao. Sasa hii ilikuwa imepanda. Hiyo mm -hmm. nilipata ilikuwa 350. Wow. Na unadaiwa miezi tatu hiyo ni elfu moja na, na I think ni elfu moja ni elfu moja na fifty hivyo na hivyo unakosa so hapo nikakuwa kanisani ninaabudu nina worship na kwa sababu Mungu alikuwa amenipa angalau amenipatia kipawa mm -hmm. sasa ndio nikaajiriwa na kanisa angalau sasa okay Ni, nilipoajiriwa na kanisa sasa ndio at least nikahama nikakuja nika hapa juu juu huruma Mm -hmm. pale karibu na Redeem Gospel Church. Yeah. Sasa at least hapo hapo ilikuwa wewe hapo ilikuwa runda oh. by the way. Hapo ilikuwa kileleshwa. Na yeah. <laughs> umetoka kule kwa muto. Mm -hmm. Sasa so at least umekuja karibu na barabara ya Lami. Mm -hmm. Angalau unaona nyumba za mawe, unaona mm -hmm. kukopoa. So hapo nikakaa, nikakaa nikiwa na, nafanya tu kazi kanisani, nafanya kazi kanisani na Mungu akaanza aka, aka, kuniinua hapo sasa nikakuwa angalau ninaweza kuwa nikawa praise and worship leader nikawa administrator nimekuwa associate pastor nimekuwa yani nikifanya kazi kanisani uh -huh. nimekuwa uh, chair person wa youth so nikakuwa nika sasa niko niko full time in the ministry yeah uh -huh. sasa nika na by then sasa nime, maisha inaanza kupanda maana at least mshahara inaingia mm -hmm. mtoto anapata chakula na angalau mtoto anaenda shule mm -hmm. you can afford at least you can afford kuingia kagari mat, mat. Mm -hmm. eh, eh. ministry ilianzia hapo ukienda kuimba ama you are done ministry before? no mm -hmm. ministry ilianzia zamani sana nikiwa katoto kadogo Oh. Kasichana kadogo ka primary school. Mm -hmm. By then tulikuwa tunaenda na Shosho kanisani. Mm -hmm. My grandmother she loves me. I know she is watching Shosho. Hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, okay. So tulikuwa tunaenda naye kanisani. Nilikuwa very active. I used to say memory verses. Mimi yeah. nilikuwa naongoza nili, uh, Sunday school. Mm -hmm. Alafu unajua siku hizo wakukuwa keyboard Sony ndarama inaitangwa ndarama ile ya hivi kama ile ya wakorino so siku hiyo hakukuwa keyboard ama drumset so mimi nilikuwa nacheza hiyo church si kwa Sunday school mpaka church watu wakicheza praise and worship so nikiwa katoto tulikuwa tunaenda na shosho so i used to preach for Sunday school kids ninawahubiria wow ninasema memory verses Sunday school vile wanapeagwa place kanisani mimi ndio nilikuwa kiongozi wao yani i was the pastor to the Sunday school na wewe ni na mnatoshana eh tunatoshana lakini nilikuwa mpaka nawaombea 
<laughs> na watu tena shule wakufanya vibana waambia waokoke na waombea wokovu so i was like that nikakuwa nikakuwa nikiwa primary what point did you you know unajitanga so, prophet uh, as at what point did you begin prophet so so, so nikiwa nikiwa primary school mm -hmm. i used to see things ile kama naota kitu alafu hiyo kitu inakuja inafanyika mm -hmm. ama nina nina feel kitu ama naongea kitu alafu inakuja inafanyika Unaona? Mm -hmm. Sasa nikaingia secondary school. Sasa hapo nimeanza kumachua. Hapo sasa nime join CU. Hapo sasa nimeanza sasa at least ama at least mimi msichana mkubwa kidogo. Mm -hmm. Na eh, eh. Hapo nilikuwa mpaka naambia naambia mtu wewe utapita na fly colors. Niko form 1 <laughs> na ni form 4 na mwambie na anapita. Uh -huh. Na anapita. I became a CU chair lady nikiwa form 2. Wow. Si nikiwa form 4, nikiwa mm. form 2, Sharif Nasri, ni shule mm. ya Waislamu. So tulikuwa like quarter ndio Christian. Christian Three yes. quarter ni Waislamu na wa, watu wengi sana walikuwa na divert, wanaenda kwa Uislamu. Mm. Na tulikuwa tunavaa kama Waislamu, mpaka tunafunga kama Waislamu. Tunavaa trousers na tunguo juu, unaona? Mm. Watu wengi walikuwa na divert and all that. So by wakati niliingia shule, nikifika form 2, hakukuwa na mtu ambaye angekuwa CU chair lady. Mm. So hakuna mtu alikuwa ameshikilia mm. mizizi unaona mm -hmm. nikafanyika siu cha lady nikiwa form 2 mm. na nikaendelea hivyo sasa hapo mimi nilikuwa na nasema tu by then i think sikuwa na na ile knowledge sana mm. lakini nilikuwa nasema vitu na zinafanyika both good and bad yeah baka nikawa nasikia vibaya nilikuwa ni, ni, naona huyu mtu tunaenda hospitali kuona mgonjwa alafu naona huyu mtu hapo ni atakufa nina tunaomba lakini ndani yangu najua tu atakufa sasa mpaka nauliza mungu kwa nini ananionyesha vitu mbaya you know mm. sasa kitu mzuri ama kitu mbaya nilikuwa tu na, naziona alafu zinatendeka vile nimeona ama nikiota zinatendeka vile nime ama nikiongea zinafanyika mm -hmm. after that so nikiwa secondary school i was so 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 vigorous yani nilikuwa mm -hmm. ile ni nimekuwa sasa pasta hata nilikuwa mm -hmm. naitwa pasta by then tulikuwa na uh, group ilikuwa inajiita foundation uh, children gospel outreach mm -hmm. so tulikuwa tukifunga shule hivi tunaenda ma missions tunaenda Muranga, tunaenda Kirinyaga, tunaenda Nairobi, tunaenda Mombasa. Tukua ni group ilikuwa interdenominational uh -huh. kutoka makanisa tofauti youths, primary school kids mm -hmm. na secondary school. Sasa hapo ndio tulikuwa tunaenda. Tukienda ni mimi pasta. Mm -hmm. Ni mimi nahubiri. nahubiri. Tunafanya crusades, ni mimi nahubiri. So so you saying mm -hmm. hii imeanza kitambo. Ni imeanza kitambo. Kiwa mtoto hey. kama chuo kiwa high hey. school as you continue. Yeah. Sasa at what point mm -hmm. did you now get into ministry ya ku, ya professor Aha. fully so uh, wakati sasa huu nime nimekuwa kanisani full time oh, yeah, minister yeah, yeah. hapo sasa li, ndio nilianza ile kabla bishop akuje you know naongoza ibada nina program ibada mm. ninaanza kutabiria watu ninawaambia Mungu naona Mungu akiwabariki naona Mungu akiwainua mahali uli, ulipokuwa hautamalizia hapo so i prophesy I, pro, i give people hope alafu naongoza ibada hivyo pole pole sometimes nikaanza kupatiwa uh, uh, services kama service ya kwanza naambua ni mimi na hubiri ni mimi na, ninaongoza mm. ama ni mimi nahubiri ikaenda hivyo mpaka nikawa napewa hata main services tukiwa na conference za youths ni mimi na coordinate ni mimi napanga kila kitu mm. sasa uh, 2011 nikakuwa nika kanisani mahali nilikuwa kanisani nina niko full time minister sasa hiyo niko administrator wa kanisa wa, sorry wa kanisa mm -hmm. na niko uh, niko associate pastor uh, ndio uh, Um, mtumishi mmoja wa Mungu akakuja by the name Dr. Natasha mm -hmm. right now she's not in the country okay. Dr. Natasha alikuwa anahubiri ni msichana tu kama mimi alikuwa anahubiri kanisani kwetu na mimi nilikuwa interpreter by the way i used to do mm -hmm. inter nilikuwa na interpreter mm -hmm. mm. munaijeria akiingia ni mimi interpreter i'm telling you umedo part of the ministry i could do everything proper mm -hmm. from kufagia kanisa kufag kuosha viti kuongoza ibada kuongoza praise and worship kuchukua sadaka kuombea mm -hmm. watu everything i could do everything so niko na interpret sayo i'm the chief interpreter kanisani kwetu ni mimi chief interpreter ni mimi nilikuwa nafundisha interpreter hao wengine na i thank god nime raise watu sasa dr natasha akanipenda sana because i was flowing with her pace na nilikuwa na tafsiri vizuri sana tukua katika harakati ya kuhubiri akanigeukia akaniambia you are a prophetess to the nations nilikuwa naambiwa ngo hivyo na 
wahubiri wengi. Mm. Nilikuwa naambia go hivyo na manabii wengi. But sasa akaniambia you are a prophetess to the nation. You are not called only for Kenya, but you are called for many nations, for worldwide. I see you going far. Akaniombea, akan kwanza aliniombea, nina muinterpretia akaacha. Hiyo ni katikati ya Samuel sasa ameacha ku preach sasa. Okay. Akanitabiria, akaniambia you will go far. I decree and declare your feet will go zitaingia ndege. Sasa hiyo mm. sijui hata ndege inaingia kwa wapi. Na yonaga tu hivi kwa. Sasa umeanza tu matatu. <laughs> kwanza hata hiyo matatu pia unangoja bei shuke leo. Eh, Sasa <laughs> <laughs> so, kanitabiria na kaniambia I feel in my heart I have a burden to nurture your gift. You have a talent and I will make sure your dreams come true. So mimi nikasema amen. Mm. Maana nimezoea kutabiriwa na kila mtu. Eh, eh, kila mtu nikimtafsiria na nitabiria. Nikasema amen. Akaniombea akanipaka mafuta tukamaliza ibada hivyo hakuhubiri tena. So after hapo akaniita akaniambia nataka tukutane. Tukakutana akaniambia I see there is something in you. Mm. Naona kuna kitu ndani yako. Na hii kitu lazima niinache. Niko na mzigo. Na hii nitaulizwa na Mungu nisipofanya ikazi. So akaniambia are you ready? Do you, do you want me to be your mentor? Mm. Nikaambia yes. Maana sasa hapa hata ninashindwa sasa nitaanzia mm. wapi? Nikasema tu yes. Mm. Akaniambia okay, be ready. Get ready and be ready. Wow. Akaniambia get ready and be ready na sasa sina chochote, sina passport, sina nini. Mm. Akanipigia simu after one week, akaniambia nataka uende Tanzania, ukahubiri. Sijai toka Kenya. Nikamwambia hata passport sina. Akaniambia don't worry. Mm -hmm. Akani akaniambia uh, uh, nitakusaidia akanisaidia nikachukua na passport akanisaidia nika yani nika nikakuwa nika na document document zote za kutrave eh hey, hey. sasa ananiambia unaenda Tanzania I have never gone out kaniambia don't worry napokea simu ya TZ plus 255 yeah. sasa shindwa eh, eh, nikachukua eh. <laughs> nika, nikasikia huyu ni askofu fulani eh, kutoka so, uh, huku Tanzania, Tanzania. Tanzania. dokta Natasha ametuambia wewe ni mtoto wake wa kiroho tunakusubiri nabii Hey, yes. Nianza kuitwa nabii. Nabii. <laughs> Najua Tanzania hayasemagi prophetess, hey, anasemaga nabii. nabii. Alafu anasemaga nabii wa kike. Nabii wa kike. Nabii wa kike Monica. Tunakusubiri huko Tanzania. Tanzania. <laughs> Karibu. <laughs> Hapo <laughs> ndipo nilianzia traveling ministry that is mm. yeah, the, the, the mwisho wa 2010. Okay. Ndio nikatoka. Mm -hmm. Sasa akaniconnect akaniconnect nikakuwa Kenya sasa nazunguka counties naenda na Nyuki, naenda Nyeri, naenda mm. Kisumu, ka, Kajiado, nikawa sasa naenda hivyo. Then mm, 2011 sasa ndio nikaanza ku kupanua mabao vizuri nikaenda South Africa Botswana Namibia yani nika travel sana mm -hmm. sana sana 2012 akaniambia sasa ninaona misuli iko Ehe. tunaweza fanya kazi sasa saa ah. hiyo nisha resign kanisani kule nilikuwa mm -hmm. kwa sababu sasa singe fanya the two months oh your, your calling could not be active yes. yeah unaelewa na wakati yeah. mwingine wanakuhitaji kanisani mm. uko South Africa ah. wanakuhitaji kanisani uko TZ so hapo nika step down lakini nikiwa Kenya bado naenda kanisani ah, naenda okay. kanisani nasaidia mali naweza mm. but sasa hivyo ndio ika grow so now you 2012 started... akaniambia naona ume misuli iko sawa and i want to, i want you now to be officially mm -hmm. si ile tutu kuitange prophetess mm -hmm. akaniambia now get ready that is january akaniambia get ready by the end of august you should be officially ordained mm -hmm. umwagiliwe mafuta ukue nabi ukue pastor sasa hapo ndio nikaingia shule sasa theology kidogo kushapen uh -huh. talent uh -huh. kidogo kusoma na you know as you, uh, ukikuwa ordained ni kama vile tunafanyaga harusi mm -hmm. kuna zile una lazima uwape Ah. Eh, ume, umeamua kuchukua uh, hii mzigo hii msalaba wa Yesu umeamua kuleta like eh, uh -huh. those vows. Mm -hmm. So I had to go through them from January ile unasomeshwa mm -hmm. na unaulizwa ndio hakikishe kabisa mm -hmm. kama ukweli uko ready. Uh -huh. So uh, 2012 August nikakuwa ordained officially by mm -hmm. Dr. Natasha now. Uh, she's a daughter to uh, Bishop Ada Kitonga Redeemed Christ Church. Sasa uh -huh. ni buka yangu in ministry. Uh -huh. So uh, akanimwagilia mafuta and I was confirmed mm -hmm. now officially a prophetess a pastor. Mm -hmm. So he caller Mm. nikavalishwa hapo ah. nikamwagilwa mafuta na nyingine ya juu na robe na, na robe na 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 na
Kuna siku una vanga? Kabisa ni shilingi wewe dukivaizi vitu. I'm cold. Unajua nina kanga, zina unajua hata gitonga kiwai wa sawa. Kino hiyo. It's a very interesting matter. Yeah, you 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 just you know you are called to do this. I feel good. But sasa hizo zote tuna tuna huwa tunavaa occasionally. Like when I'm special officiating a wedding, ukizikana, ukiordain watu, ukidedicate watoto. Yeah, so wakati during those karibu ningeibeba kuroba uione siku ingine nita kubebea sasa director na tuambia mdo unaelekea ok kwa hivyo sasa after that now you've been doing ministry full time now I've been traveling out of the country and in the country full time ministry so God speaks to you about situations and then you speak to his people and I speak to his people and I empower people I encourage people I'm a hope giver I give people hope I tell people you can make it I have seen it in me so you too you can make it you can you can do it wewe ulikuwa na fieka nilikuwa na ushia watu manguo nikiambia watu iko na niambia na hizo kucha veje ni supu hata okay ni kausha ifua by the way hizo mikono ona hizo mikono hizo sasa zilishafua zikapata vidonda lakini I thank God mahali amenitoa so nikakuwa full time minister na sasa mpaka mahali nimefika sasa nauulize prophet sasa at that point ni unapatanga word of knowledge sasa utaki kuambia mtu una unaendanga aje yani how do you yani how do you handle all these things ah hiyo sasa roho wa Mungu anakusaidia wakati uko labda kwa madhabahu umeambua kitu roho wa Mungu anakusaidia kuna vitu uwezo kuambia mtu mbele ya watu so kama ni kitu ambao hufai kuambia mtu mbele ya watu what you do unamwambia apate kwa ofisi akwenda kwa ofisi ya mchungaji wake kwa sababu mimi mwenyewe personally sina kanisa huwa nahubiri kwa makanisa za wachungaji but but uko na kanisa hapa ya mother Eh I have a mother church that are, where I go. Where you go right yes. now hata naenda kuhubiri saa hii nikitoka hapa. Okay. Yeah. So unapata una, unapata uki, kuna vile unaweza pewa word of knowledge na Mungu mm. ama Mungu anaweza kuonesha kitu. Kuna vitu unasema kwa madhabahu, kuna vitu husemi, kuna vitu unaona mtu personally unamwambia. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Ujiko okay. katikati ya kupreach then unaona mtu then unaona kitu and you go like what do I tell this person to unpack? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, unajipata uko katikati ya kuhubiri na kuna mtu pale labda anaumwa kama one incident mama mmoja alikuwa na uvimbe katika tumbo lake. Mungu akaniambia kuna mama hapa ako na uvimbe ndani ya tumbo yake na anapona saa hii. Kwa hivyo hapo unaacha kila kitu. Okay. Una mwita, una na alipona kroba. Mm. Wow. Na hiyo ni moja tu. Mm. There are so many. Mungu anakuambia. So mm. sometimes unaistopisha na unapiga una wadi ile Mungu amekupatia. Mm. Na automatically because it's God. Na roho wa Mungu haezi akadanganya. That's right. Yeah. Na tumeitwa to prophesy to one another. Yes. I need to prophesy to you. You need to prophesy <laughs> back to you. That's what we've been called to do. <laughs> you, are, you, you know you are a prophet of your own life. You you are the biggest prophet of your own life. Mm. Wewe. Besides sasa ni mimi hivi. Wewe. Mimi. Yeah. <laughs> wewe sasa as a person. Amen. Yes. Now we need to finish. Mm -hmm. There is uh, something also happening. Mm -hmm. uh, this coming Saturday. This coming Friday. This coming Friday. This coming Friday. Yeah, coming Friday. Yeah. Yes. yes. Uh, ah, this coming Friday kuna mkesha mmoja unaitwa prophetic worship night. Okay. Huo ni mkesha ambao uh, Mungu amenipatia burden ya kuanzisha. Mm -hmm. Nilikuwa naufanya zamani lakini ina uh, ile tu kanisani kwetu ile mm -hmm. chini chini but now ni imefufuka tena maana sasa mm -hmm. Mungu ameniambia January tukivuka mwaka akaniambia now nahitaji hiyo kesha mm -hmm. irudi. Mm -hmm. So hiyo kesha inarudi officially that of April Friday ya Good Friday, Friday. 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 Eh, usiku mm -hmm. eh, usiku kuanzia mm -hmm. saa tatu mpaka asubuhi eh, okay. na itakuwa pale nitangaze mali itakuwa yeah. okay. aha itakuwa pale Embassy Cinema mm -hmm. pale kwa Maximum Miracle Center Embassy okay. Cinema okay. Eh, pale Ratema Road mm -hmm. hapo karibu na Odeon Cinema hapo yeah. ndio itakuwa tutakuwa mm -hmm. pale I'll be the prophet of the day I'll okay. be prophesying aha eh, mimi ndio nitakuwa na tutakuwa pia na watumishi wengine watumishi wengine utakuwa na wachungaji maskofu Mm -hmm. Tume manabi.
mm-hmm. na wao waimbaji watakuwa waimbaji okay. wengi sana hata masimasika si ametoka studio eh, atakuwa ushashindil manamba zikitenzi hapo nikajua kazi inapatikana lazima lazima ongoze worship kwa kutakuwa na waimbaji wengi kina Ben Gidai kina Eunice Jerry kina Pitson Lingala Yesu Alan Aaron Boys Kim Dennis Mutara Shiro GP Grace Mwai hao wote watakuwa asante I want to look into this this camera this one that one uh-huh. number two. Uh, and i want you to encourage someone mm-hmm. who amekuwa katika situ labda yuko pale ulikuwa kitambo yeah. encourage her in a minute mm-hmm. and then pray for people who want to get born again because uh-huh. we we ask to do that okay. alafu tumalize tubarikiwe uh-huh. pamoja mm-hmm. amen uh, mtazamaji wangu popote unaniangalia nataka nikwambie ya kwamba sio mwisho wako people may think that you have come to an end people may put a full stop in your life because they analyze the situations that you are going through but i want to tell you it is not over until god says it's over wewe usikufe moyo usivunjike moyo watu wataongea watakuvunja moyo watu watakuaibi watu watakuonesha haiwezekani na hauwezi but there is a god in heaven who answers prayers na kama alinijibu maombi wakati nilikuwa chini nikiwa huruma madhare nikiwa isli nikiwa kwa slums na akaninua right now mimi ni mtumishi wa Mungu wa kimataifa he can still do it for you god is the same yesterday today and forever i want to decree upon your life i want to prophesy and to declare upon your life no matter the situation that you are passing right now that is only a wilderness you will come out victorious you will come out with a testimony you will come out with a miracle in Jesus mighty name any situations that are, 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 are negative to the word of god any situations that are bringing you down right now as a prophet of god i decree and declare they shall bow into the name of jesus christ so wherever you are watching me from i want you to know that there is a god in heaven a god who hears prayers a god who sees you whatever that you are going through it is not permanent your condition it is not your conclusion you gonna come out victorious in the name of Jesus Christ. Kwa hivyo kama kuna mtu mmoja pale angetamani kupokea Yesu, nataka tu tuseme hapa maneno machache nyuma yangu sema Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu. Ninakuja mbele zako. Ninakuja mbele zako. Mimi ni mwenye dhambi. Mimi ni mwenye dhambi. Nisamehe dhambi zangu na makosa. Kuanzia leo nimeokoka. Nitakase kwa damu yako. Nitoe kwa kitabu cha mauti na uniandike kwenye kitabu cha uzima. Nimeamua kukufuata siku zote za maisha yangu. Kwa jina la Yesu nimeokoka. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. God Thank bless you. you. Tunashukuru yes. kwa kupata wakati kuja. Amen. Kushiriki na sisi. Thank you too for you having me. Thank Amen. you so much. pia boy yuko pale. Yes. And uh, we thank God for him. Yeah, boy yuko hapa kwenye studio. Kuja wewe usalimie shosho. Kuja usalimie shosho. Kama kitu hapo. Anaitwa? Anaitwa Prince James. Prince, Prince James. James, James Gatonye. Niambie yeah. shosho yeah. sasa sasa shosho. Hi. Mwambie <laughs> love you. <laughs> ah, love you. Thank you so Thank you. much. God bless you. God bless you too. Okay, it Thank was you. great having you mm-hmm. on Tukuza. After this, we are going straight to JCC for live uh, live ish live chat service. Yes. Uh-huh. And after that on Tukuza Plus with Kenya Shitiva and DJ Krober, natakuwa pia na Zidi the band. Yes. Baraka tele. Let's do this. Amen.